Hey everybody, Pastor Phil here. We've been looking at Psalm 42 and the inner desire everyone has that only God can satisfy. When you've been distant from God, it can lead to discouragement and even deep, dark depression. Listen to the writer in verse 5. Why are you downcast, O my soul? Why so disturbed within me? Put your hope in God, for I will yet praise Him, my Savior and my God. Here the writer is doing some self-talk. And it's not a sign of mental health problems. It's actually a good biblical practice when you do it right. He's basically saying, self, you don't have to be down and distraught. You can still be positive and praise the Lord. A significant part of our renewal is in our minds. We have to change the way we think. Get your mind focused on God instead of your circumstance. He's your savior. And if you have not yet given your life to Christ, He is ready to save you from your sins and your negativity. If you are already a believer, think about the eternity you would have if the Lord hadn't saved you. Aren't you glad you're saved? He is your God. There is nothing that is too difficult for Him. Any problem you may be facing is infinitely smaller than God. He sees it and He understands. He loves you. He's working for your good in all circumstances. He's your hope. And now think of eternity with the Lord who saved you. If you've invited the Lord into your life, then one day these things will be true for you. You'll get a new body, which will be immortal and incorruptible. You get a new location, which will be literally out of this world. And you get a new situation where there's no more sorrow or pain. His plan for you is beyond your wildest imagination. It's so much better. Does that stir something in you? Does that fire you up? then praise the Lord. That thirst within your soul can be satisfied by God. Other things will leave you empty and dry, but God can fully satisfy. So get your focus on Him. Begin to thank Him for who He is and what He has already done. Choose to put Him first in all things. Go after Him like that deer panting for streams of water. He's still there. He hasn't moved. So preach yourself happy. Press, press into God and praise Him with all your heart.